G'day everyone, I just saw highlights of the Bucks vs the Texans and boy, Brady and the Bucks are looking really good. I can't wait for the season to start and I'm sorry for the sound quality in some of the clips in this video. I tried to tune it as much as possible, but it's the best I can do with what I have for now. So please be patient. Earlier this week, Brady told Peter King, quote, I love playing football. Offensive coordinator Aaron Leftwich said something really good the other day. It's a very simple game that's so hard to execute. It's a totally imperfect game that you're trying to do as perfectly as possible. Every day I come out trying to do it. I'm hoping this is my best year. Next Bucks possession, first and 10, Bucks at nine. Brady able to connect with Brown this time for eight yards. It's better. Next play. It's Mike Evans. Quick curl. It's going to get them nine yards. They continue to roll. Brady. Why not Evans again? Sideline. 11 yard gain right there. Evans, two receptions, 20 yards. Brady finding his groove. Then it's Chris Godwin on the next play. Why don't you join in the action? 28 yards. Brady on this drive, four for four, 56 yards. Two plays later, checks down. It's got Brown again. Eight yard gain. This receiving core is ridiculous. Next play after that, it's Brady hitting a streaking Godwin. He's going to bang his way into the end zone. Brady bouncing back on that second drive. How about going seven for seven, 91 yards, touchdown on that one. Brady back on the field for another drive, first and 10 from the Bucks seven. Same score, Brady hitting Godwin across the middle. And he's going to get a big gain here, 36 yards. He had three receptions for 84 yards and a touchdown in the game later in the drive. Brady delivering to Brown. Tight coverage there. 16-yard game. Brown, four receptions, 42 yards on the day. Still same drive. First and 10. Ronald Jones taking the hand off. He wants some action. Brady, 11-14, 154 yards and a touchdown on the day. 23-16 to is the final. Uh, we're in a good position, and you know, it's good to start the season against a good team. And um, Dallas has a lot of firepower, uh, a lot of draft picks. So... You know, they got some new things we're going to have to prepare for. And, um, you know, you got to start the, you got to start the season the right way. And I think we've had a decent training camp. Now we make final cuts and it's always a tough time for, for all the players and the coaches. Nobody likes this time of year for those reasons. Um, but as soon as that happens, you know, the team's got to come together quickly and get prepared to play our first biggest game of the year. There's a lot of big games, but the first biggest game of the year is Thursday night. Brady's yeah. offense or Barrett's defense determine a Bucks repeat? Ready for this? Tom Brady's yeah. offense will determine <laughs> it. If they're both excellent. Bucks are uh, okay, loaded Clint both Kellerman. sides of the ball. That's right. Tom Brady's offense. Why have I just given it up for Tom Brady? Well, he won the Super Bowl. No, not necessarily. Because you can game manage your way to a Super Bowl if you have absurd weapons on offense and a great defense in a running game and you get a little lucky. And that's not what I saw from Brady. I saw a great quarterback still. I just give it up. I think that I was wrong and others were right when they said at the end of his tenure in New England, he simply didn't have the weapons. Seemed to me he couldn't do it anymore. Shorter and shorter passes, right? Like fewer yards um, per, per attempt. But not only that, he was missing receivers every which way. Long, short, left, right. Like it didn't matter. I thought, no, no, the guy's getting old. Nope. He showed that was not the case. And you saw New England without him. Same thing, no offense. Nope. It's one thing to have an embarrassment of riches. It's another thing to use them competently. And it's another thing still to use them at a very high level, which is what Brady did. I give it up. That's why he threw 40 touchdowns last year. That's why the Bucs had the third highest scoring offense mm -hmm. last year. And he had to do it in a COVID year, without a preseason, with a coach who seemed to have the opposite offensive philosophy that he had. Now, you add to that the fact that A.B., is going to have a whole season? Do you understand how good Mike Evans and Chris Godwin are who are still there? If A.B. is healthy and is acclimated, he's by far the best offensive weapon they have on the team. And I haven't mentioned even Gronk or O.J. Howard, who wasn't available because of injury at the end of the year, or, or Bray. Like, they have so many absurd weapons on offense. And given the level Tom Brady's still playing at, given what the offense did last year, if you make me choose between the offense and the defense, good as the defense is, 
the offense. Part of me is a little sad that Max is actually being kicked out of first take. I know he said some silly things about Brady, but I do like his take on sports, especially with boxing. It would seem that Brady's outlasted Max as well, which is absolutely hilarious if you think about it. However, I do like Max, and I do like him on first take. It balances out first take with Stephen A. Smith. I'd love to hear what you guys think about Max leaving first take though. How much of a process with starting quarterback of the Bucks? Tom Brady is now done with the preseason, 11-14, 154 yards in three series. Bucks beat the Texans 23-16. They said, Brady, he's always learning. But this game was about finding a flow during not one but two drives that are north of 90 yards. We say good morning now to our former Buccaneer, Sam Asho. Here's your reminder that Tom Brady is 44. This is his 22nd season in the NFL. That said, what are you expecting from him this year? Yeah, I expect more of the same. Like Tom Brady, what we saw yesterday was surgical. Seven for seven in the second drive, 91 yards. But the thing is, he's going into his second year of this offense. And so what you're going to see is him more comfortable. They ran the hurry up in that in that second series. He looked phenomenal. I think Tom Brady's going to be special this year. If what we saw last year was great, it will be even greater. And I'm going to say if he stays healthy, I'm knocking on my wood over here, okay. that he will have his greatest season yet at age 44 because he had a pretty great one last year, right. his first year in Tampa with no preseason, mm -hmm. pandemic ridden all year long. And it took him at least half the year just to figure out the nomenclature of the offense, just how to call it, because it didn't come naturally to him. And right. then after that Kansas City game, they had a bye week and they took off and he figured it out. He was playing on a torn MCL. Anthony, uh, I'm sorry, Antonio Brown was playing on some kind of a torn meniscus that, that he finally got fixed. So you have the GOAT quarterback with a better knee. You have Antonio, according to Bruce Arians, looking faster than he has for five years. So he's at the top of my touchdown list. And there's also a former pro bowler in Mike Evans, obviously, and Chris Godwin, Godwin, obviously. Tom Brady came to love little Scotty Miller. He was a little touchdown machine last year. And Tyler Johnson, even in the playoffs, came alive and made some huge catches, especially at New Orleans. And then we've got Gronk, and then we've got Cameron Brait, and now we got O.J. Howard back, and he can be a beast, and don't, don't write him off. And you can throw touchdown passes to, obviously, Leonard Fournette, playoff Lenny, and Ronald Jones. And how about Gio Bernard? They went and got Tom Brady, the ultimate toy out of the backfield that you can toss it to and let him run for touchdowns. Well, Skip, you do remember that Randy had 23 of those 50 touchdowns, yep. and a lot of those were bombs. Okay. I don't believe they have anybody on that roster of that capability. They don't, but they have a whole lot of very good receivers. Yeah. They don't have a Moss. So what are you saying? 50-plus touchdowns? I am. I don't know if I can go to 55 because there's an extra game, obviously. Yeah, there, so yeah. It's going to skew the, the records. Right. But he had 50 in 2007 and 16 games. Could he go 55? I, I'll go 55 because that's probably what you would have to do for you to say that's his greatest. 55 season. touchdowns? Okay. And remember, touchdowns can be a little lucky sometimes because you can hit somebody and they get dragged down at the one and yeah. then you run it in. Right. You know, you have to have some luck. Yeah. But if it if the ball bounces right for Tom Brady, he's going to have a huge year because yeah. this is by far the best set of weapons he's ever had. No, you got to get, you got to throw a lot inside the, on the one yard well, line. You can, you can do that. <laughs> you got to do that. You got to throw put a lot Gronk of those. in the game. The Randy caught a lot of fades. Okay. <laughs> well, if, if that's how, Arians is more prone to do that. Yeah. Do you guys agree with Skip here? Do you think Brady is going to have his best season this year? If Brady does have his best year at the age of 44, imagine what he could have done all those years ago when he had no weapons. I wanted to let you know I'm selling these NFTs on the OpenSea Marketplace under Tom Brady Daily Collection. I'll leave a link in the description and pin it to the comments. If you're bored or maybe curious, please feel free to take a gander the money will help me get better equipment for making these videos. Cheers! It's now less than two weeks until the season starts. Are you guys as excited as me? I'm counting down the days to week one. Thank you so much as always for watching. Have a wonderful day.